Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to start with the second video of our latest series that is how to create GUI in Python. If you haven't seen the first video, then you can click on the link in i button. Now let me just brief you about our last video. This is the last video's script where we have just created a simple form which is login. Uh, let me just show you that. So this is the form where you can type uh, username and password and these are the login and cancel button. So how we have created this? So we have imported PYQT5 means PyQT5 package and from where we have imported QT widgets and then import QA application. So now we have given a parameter system.rgv and in this line seventh line we are compiling our ui file which we have created from here so this is the file if you go to the file then if you open it then it will come into xml format so these are the xml tags which we have used to create this ui but we have not uh, statically typed these tags. We have just created this by using the uh, PyQt5 tool or designer. Let me just show you that also. So here it is. When you click on it, it will open that designer. So I have already opened that. So let me just close it. Uh, here it is. So. This is the GUI to create the our uh, custom forms or custom applications. So here we have given the login form dot show and then we are executing the application object, right? So and this UI list dot login is here. So if you go here, then here we have a class UI list and here we will going to list all the UIs which we are going to create and from here we will access in our main. Now let's start with event parts. So how we can implement the events on the on uh, all the uh, login or cancel button. So for that also I am going to create a package so Python package and I am naming it as events and in events we will have another package by the name login and here we will create a python file by the name event now here we will create a class by the name event in it and here we will give an argument form and then self dot form equals to form not format it's form right now we will create another method which we'll going to name as um, login Now we will access the username and how we can access it. So self dot form dot we will have the name of that text box which we have created. So in Qt5 the name is let me explain it. Yes, so its name is text username and text password. Txt and user name dot text then we will have the password equals to self dot form dot txt password dot text now we are having the username and password now for the meanwhile i am just giving the uh, static ID and password to match 
so username if username equals to try to catch and password equals to one two three four five then it will return as success else okay what is happening uh, yeah as so okay so here this is the error else it will return fail right now i'm going to create one more method uh response and here we will have the uh, print we will print the self dot on login right and here we are going to create one more method for cancel thing so on cancel system dot exit Exit. So I need to import system package. Import system. Sorry, not this. This. Right. So this is also created. So we have created this class by the name event. We have created the init method where we are giving an argument as form. So by this form, we are accessing all the controls which we are having on the form login form. And here I am comparing username and password if username is try to catch and password is one two three four five then it will return as success as false and this response we will printing here and this method will come into existence when we click on the cancel so it will exit from the application right so now let's come to our main script so here we need to import our event so from not from from event or login we will import event now we need to have the object so for that event dot event class and here we need to pass the object of form so we have the login form and I'm saving it into even login even like this. Now we will have the response. So okay, so you can have like this also login form dot response. So you can't have these parentheses, so you need to remove it from here because why I'm saying this, uh, I'll just tell you. So now we will uh, this event to the click of the button. So now login form dot uh, what is the name of our button? So login button name is btn login. So btn login dot click dot format. Now here we need to give only the so I'll just show you this so it will take the address not the method so here we need to just pass the address of this method and this method coming into this so I'm just giving it here now I'm just creating the event on cancel button also so button cancel dot click dot connect and then so here I need to remove so response sorry uh, this will be the login so login event dot response so login event coming to this and the cancel event 
coming from uh, the cancel on cancel uh, yeah, here right so this is the address so response address coming to the login and cancel address coming to the cancel so here i need to pass login and here i'm going to pass the cancel so everything is done for now let me just run it and let's see what we will have okay so the reality has no attribute button cancel okay so i need to just write the name so this is the cancel okay let me just have it here run it why we are getting this login form button underscore cancel everything is looking fine but why we are getting this so let me run it again okay so maybe it is not saved so that um, that is why we are not getting the object of button cancel so yeah so this is the form so if i type anything hit on login so yes we are getting fail let me just Type the exec username and password. Try to get and password one two three four five. Click on login. Yes, we are getting success. So by this way, you will implement this event. Now just hit on cancel. So yes, we have exited from the application. So friends, by this way you can implement the events on the buttons. So let me just brief you again. So I have created this package login, sorry, not this one, this one uh, event. So in this event package, I have created one more package of the login. I'm going to create different packages for each form. So right now we have the login. So I have created this login and in, in this login package, I have created this class event and what we have in this event. So I have uh, declared all the methods which we have required on the form so this is the on login and this is on cancel and here i'm printing the response and then uh, in the main i have imported that package event and here uh, i have created the object of the class and passed the form which we have required and then i got the addresses of all the methods so here is the response and here is the cancel address why i have removed the parenthesis because this will not the address by using this it means we are calling that method but right now we are not calling that method we just need the address of these methods and that address need to be passed to the disconnect method so friends that's it for this video in next video i'm going to show you how you can connect with db and compare the username and password instead of static values if you really like the efforts please hit the like button and do subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching jai hind